Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing a Makeup Geek haul video. I have already assembled them into my new Z palette. So this is what it looks like. These are the, my first Makeup Geek eyeshadows. And I just did an eye tutorial on, the, on this look. And they are amazing. They are so buttery and pigmented. Love. Okay, so these are the colours I got. I'll be starting from this end down and then so on. So the first colour on here is creme brulee. That's what it looks like. Beautiful crease colour. It is like one of the most beautiful colours. And the next colour I got is latte. Another great crease colour. Creme brulee is warmer where latte is cooler. Next one I got is frappe. Can also be used for a crease colour but also for a lovely corner eye colour if you just want to darken it up a little bit. And the next one is Cocoa Bear. Everybody raves about this colour and I can see why. It is like a beautiful dark brown but not too dark and it is lovely and warm. And that's also a great corner eye colour just to darken up just that shade more. If you don't want to use black, Cocoa Bear is where it's at. That rhymed. Okay, so next colour I got, which everyone says is a beautifully dark colour and is a must-have, and I must agree. I got Corrupt, and it is like the darkest black I've ever had. I don't have a lot of fallout, but I don't use a great deal. Black and me with eyeshadows, we don't get a look. And the next colour I got is Petal Pusher, a beautiful dusty pink purpley colour. And the next one I got was Cupcake. Another beautiful dusty pink colour but more to the pinky side where Petal Pusher is more to the purple side. Next one I got is Mango Tango. It is such a beautiful orange pink that it just oh, it adds that extra pop of colour. Here's another colour that is great to put in to put on your outer corner to darken it up if you don't want to use black and this is Bitten. It is seriously it needs to be raved about like 50 bazillion more times. That is my favourite, favourite colour in this palette. They were all my matte colours. I did get a few shimmers. First one I got was Shimmer Shimmer which has been highly acclaimed by Jacqueline Hill and it is a beautiful shimmer colour. I've got it in my in the corners here is beautiful just to add into that inner corner area even as a highlighter it's beautiful and for the next one I got cosmopolitan oh it is beautiful it is like beautiful mango tango and cosmopolitan mm, they look beautiful together put mango tango down first on the eyelid add a hint of cosmopolitan gives you just that little bit of shimmer they're both very similar in colours. And the next one I got was Mermaid, which I do currently have on my eyelids at the moment. Beautiful blue colour. It's not as how in the pan doesn't quite transfer onto the eyelid. So if you're scared that it is wall way too blue out there, it's really not. Okay, so I did get three foil colours. First foil colour I got was Starry Eyed. It is just a Kind of like a champagne tone. Definitely great for doing a halo eye look. And the next one I got was Magic Act. It is the perfect gold colour. It's not too warm, but it's not cold. It's like the purest, the most purest gold colour I have seen. And the next one I got was Flame Flora. Oh my god. This colour is beautiful. There it is swatched on my hand. It is amazing. Like a bit of bitten and a bit of flame flower together would make a perfect autumn colour. So all in total I got 15 of the Makeup Geek eyeshadows and my overall opinion on them is that they are simply amazing. And for their price it's even better. Individually I got them from Beauty Bay online and they were $8.60 I think from the top of my head for the normal shimmers and for the mattes. And for the foils they were like $11.60. And 
it's really worth the price because the pans are huge and the pigmentation is just amazing. Like, if you don't like to always wear eyeshadow primer, it will still show up the colours beautifully. So I hope you guys enjoyed my little haul and explanation of what Makeup Geek eyeshadows I got for my Z palette. And if you guys want to check out this eye look, just keep your eye out for it. I would be, That will be the next video that comes out after this one. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can see more videos from me and become one of the family. See you guys next time.